Hello, our topic today is binary subtraction using borrowing method. So, in this video, you have to just keep your eyes and ears open, that's all. So, here we go. So, here on the screen, you will find some rules of binary subtraction using borrowing method. The first rule is 0 minus 0 is 0. Second rule is 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Third one is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And fourth one is little different. Just have a look. 0 minus 1 would be 1 with borrow from the next left column. So let us do the first example. 1101 minus 0111. What will be the result? I have written the number 1101 minus 0111. See the workout is shown on the screen itself. And these numbers are in different column. The rightmost column that is column 1 is in green color, second column is in yellow color, third one is in orange color and the fourth column is in blue color. As per the rules, every column has been explained here. Column 1 is what? 1 minus 1. As per the rule, it should be 0. So you see the answer, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now you go to the second column from the right, where you have what? 0 minus 1. As per the rule, what you have to do? In the answer row, you have to write 1. And you borrow from the left column 1. So the left column turns what? 0. Now you come down to the third column. Because of borrowing from the right column, that is second column, the third column at the top had 1 turns 0. Therefore, 0 minus 1 would be what? 1 with borrow from the left column again. So the fourth column again turns 0 and the last column that is column 4 0 minus 0 would be 0. So my answer is 1 1 0 or you can write 0 one one zero. So here is our second example. We have to do this calculation one one zero 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 minus one one zero one one. What would be the result? So on the screen you have seen that I have written the sum for workout one one zero 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 minus one one zero one one. Now let us do the calculation. 0 minus 1 is not possible because 0 is a lesser number. From a lesser number you cannot subtract a bigger number. So you will ask from the previous column to give a borrow of 1. The second column cannot give because it also has 0. So it will ask the third column. Third column also doesn't have to give a borrow of 1. So, it will ask the fourth column. Fourth column is also 0. So, it also cannot provide with a borrow of 1. So, the fourth column will ask from the fifth column. Fifth column has 1, right? So, it can give a borrow of 1 to the fourth column. It is giving and it is turning itself to 0. So, here it comes 1, borrow. Now from here, what will happen? This is something to notice. You keep in mind that 1, 0 in decimal is 2. So here 2, this fourth column will keep itself 1 and it will pass 
a borrow to the previous column one so the third column is one zero now which is two it will keep one and it will pass to the next column one it is also one zero that is two it will keep one and it will pass to the previous value to the previous column one so one zero is two now you see take it this way two minus one is one so in the answer row you will find zero minus one here i'm writing one come to the second column zero minus one okay you had what one here because when you had two you kept one and you passed one to the first column so one minus one would be zero see the third column third column is one minus zero that is one fourth column is one minus one is zero now you see the fifth column it had zero so zero minus one is not possible again so it will ask a borrow from the previous column that is the last column so last column will provide with what one and it will turn itself to zero so the fifth column has what now one and zero which is in decimal two two minus one is one and the sixth column zero minus zero is what zero so my final answer is zero one zero one zero one or you can write one zero one zero one this is the result i hope you have understood now let us do the sum manually the sum that we have seen that we have understood let us do manually so here we come zero minus one not possible so it will ask a carry from the previous column it cannot give so this column will ask the third column third column cannot give it will ask the fourth column it cannot give so it will ask the fifth column it has so it will turn zero here and it will pass one to the next column that is the fourth column so fourth column is one zero that is two so two it will keep one here and it will pass one to here that is the third column third column is one zero again which is two two will keep one here and it will pass to the second column one the second column is one zero again that is two it will keep one and it will pass to the previous column one now one zero is two take it this way two minus one is one come to the second column one minus one is zero okay next one minus zero is one one minus one is zero zero minus one is not possible so it will ask a carry from the last column it can give because it has one so it is zero out here and borrow is passed to the next column so one zero is again two two minus one is one and the last column zero minus zero is zero so here is the answer the final answer is one zero one zero one so here are two binary subtractions it is shown on the screen try on your own and match the result you should know that thank you so much for watching this video 
keep watching and keep learning and of course do subscribe for all my latest videos practice the sums that you have learned today thank you so much